Lesson 6.2b, Writing and Solving One-Step Addition and Subtraction Equations. We will often see negative numbers in real-world situations. Elevations below sea level are represented by negative numbers. When we increase our elevation, we're moving in a positive direction. When we decrease our elevation, we're moving in a negative direction. On a vertical number line, up is positive and down is negative. We can see the water line is zero. That's sea level. Moving from an elevation of negative three to negative one is an increase. It's going up. Moving from an elevation of negative four to negative seven is a decrease of three feet. We're going down. A scuba diver is exploring at an elevation of negative 11 and 5 tenths feet. As the diver rises to the surface, he stops to rest briefly at an elevation of negative 5 and 35 hundredths feet. Find the vertical distance that the diver will travel. That's the vertical distance. We write an equation and let x represent the vertical distance between his initial elevation and his resting elevation. Now we solve using an inverse operation. We have negative 11 and 5 tenths plus x is equal to negative 5 and 35 hundredths. The inverse operation would be applied to this negative 11 and 5 tenths. We want to isolate x to this left side of the equal side that it's on. So we're going to add 11 and 5 tenths to both sides of the equation to isolate the x by itself. Negative 11 and 5 tenths plus 11 and 5 tenths creates a zero pair, and we eliminate it. Now, when we add 11 and 5 tenths to this side, to the negative 5 and 35 hundredths, we get a positive 6 and 15 hundredths. We know that x is equal to 6 and 15 hundredths. That means the diver traveled a vertical distance of 6.15 feet. A fish swam from an elevation of negative 60 feet to an elevation of negative 20 feet. Find the vertical distance the fish swam. We write an equation using a variable to represent the unknown vertical distance. We use an inverse operation to solve. We're going to let d equal distance. So we have a negative 60 plus some vertical distance is going to equal the negative 20. The inverse operation is going to be addition because we want to isolate this variable to one side, so we need to get rid of this negative 60. So we add 60. It's going to create a zero pair, and when we add 60 to this side, we get a positive 40. We know d is equal to 40. The fish traveled a vertical distance of 40 feet. To isolate the variable to one side, whichever operation is performed on that side must be performed on the other side of the equal sign to keep the equation balanced. So if we have a positive 5 here and we're trying to get this x alone and isolated on this side of the equal sign, if that's a positive 5, we're going to do a negative 5 to create a zero pair, but that means we have to minus 5 on this side to keep it balanced. x is equal to 4. Now, for the fish problem, we know the fish is moving in a positive direction because the initial elevation of negative 60 feet is lower than negative 20. So it must be moving upward in a positive direction. The fish moved from a lower elevation to a higher elevation. That's a positive direction. Tala has some money in her checking account. If she writes a check for $38.50, her checking account will be overdrawn by $15.25. Find how much is in Tala's checking account now. So think, write a check, well that means take money away. So we're going to subtract $38.50. And overdrawn, that means you have a negative account balance, so that's negative. We write an equation and use an inverse operation to solve it. So, 
if she writes a check for $38.50, we have negative $38.50 plus some amount X is going to equal that overdrawn amount, negative $35.25. What we can do to isolate this X to this left side of the equal sign, so it's by itself, is create a zero pair by adding $38.50 to each side of the equal sign. That's going to create a zero pair here. We're going to be left with X on this side. And on this side, when we add it, we get a positive 23.25. Since we're trying to isolate x to one side of the equation, we need to add $38.50 as the inverse operation to create a zero pair. Tala has $23.25 in her account now before she wrote the check. Sam descended 15 and 4 tenths meters to an elevation of 20 and one-tenth meter. Find Sam's elevation before his descent. So he went down, because he descended. Descend is down, so we're going to do x, some unknown amount, minus 15.4. We have x minus 15.4 is equal to the elevation that he ended up at, 20.1. Since we have a minus 15.4 here, we're going to do a plus 15.4 on each side of the equal sign. That will isolate this x. So we're going to add it as the inverse operation. It's going to create a zero pair here. So x is by itself on this side of the equal sign. When we add it to this side, we get 35 and 5 tenths. So before Sam's descent, he was at an elevation of 35 and 5 tenths meters. Our inverse operation was adding this 15 and 4 tenths to each side. To isolate the variable to one side of the equation, the inverse operation will be the opposite operation. If we want to isolate x on this side, this is the side it's on, so we have a positive 20 here, we're going to have to subtract 20 from each side. That's going to create a zero pair on this side, and that's going to give us a positive 10 on this side. We have 30 minus 20. So a positive 20, so we subtract 20 from each side. Here we have a negative 15 plus x is equal to 70. Because that's a negative 15, we're going to add 15. Negative 15, so we add 15 to each side. We have negative 15 plus 15. That creates a zero pair. That gets our x isolated to this one side all by itself. It's isolated. And on this side, we have 85. We know x is equal to 85. Okay, we're finished with 6.2b. We're going to move on to 6.2c, which is writing and solving one-step multiplication and division problems. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.